Good morning again. It's about 6 a.m. And I want to do this uh, another deck since I'm on a Japanese kind of theme all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Yukio Taro. That was my best try, I think, so far. There's the top. That's the cover which is probably the strength card yep right there one of those virtues nothing on the bottom to show not much on the side captures the serene beauty of the floating world which has something to do with Kami or Shinto I don't know maybe not maybe I'm getting my what I've read confused floating world was like uh, Hmm. Artistic, kind of decadent, mm, like red light district, maybe uh, something like that. I'm not sure how I'm getting them all twisted together. There's the back, which is the hero font. What I'm a little disappointed in. I'll hold this up so it shows up. Hopefully, stable enough to get it. What I'm a little disappointed is, you know, some of the symbology that's in the tarot, I guess it just doesn't translate to some cultures, maybe. I mean, I like the artwork. I like the feel of the cards. They're nice. There's what the back looks like. Gorgeous. I think I like that brown, gold, orange kind of color. Not sure what that's supposed to be in terms of a plant. But compared to a standard US Games tarot card, it is a bit smaller. So that's not a big deal. That's the fool. Uh, I think there's enough room to just put this fool right here. <laughs> there's the three rows of seven, which you know, appetite, will, reason, however you want to look at it. And I'm just kind of glancing at the artwork again. I just, I mean, it's obviously Japanese, except maybe there wouldn't be a lion in Japan. Then again, there wouldn't have been a lion in Europe. So, I don't know. I like it. I like Japanese art. I like, uh, what is it I tried? Origami. After getting all inspired from watching the movie, I think it's called Folds, F-O-L-D-S. I have it on DVD or Blu-ray. It used to be on YouTube for free. I'm not sure. Sometimes YouTube takes stuff away. You know, that pesky copyright stuff. There's the little book. And again by Stuart Kaplan. Does this guy ever rest? It says... 1983 did not get it then 2016 I guess they're just trying to appeal to anybody anywhere who can possibly buy a deck just a guess that's just a guess so that's the major arcana the trumps I'm going to try to carefully without straining and making all that noise Bring in the cups, which are really little bowls. That's nice. Hmm. Those are nice to look at. Very pleasing. Whoops. A disaster has happened here with the coins. Well, not a disaster exactly. But, uh, is that lined up? Yep. <clears throat> well, I thought I'd perfected my method of doing this, but I'm not sure. That's one big coin. I like that one. That's very nice. Lots of detail. Hmm. Let's try this even more carefully. There we go. Almost. This is the swords. Oh, wow. Hmm. Wait, where was Six of Cups? That's Pinnacles. Sorry. So 
Cooks or Cubs? No, doesn't really do much for me. Just has a heart in the background. I didn't notice that. And these have spades, which uh, makes sense. And that has diamonds. Hmm, that's unusual. I just kind of try to blend it in there. Like I say, I like the art. I do. I don't know that I would copy a certain cards I might be interested in copying. And this is what they're calling wands, which looks like the things you put your sword into, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Very nice. Where are we at? Okay. So I'm going to put this in there. And the little book. A little white book. <coughs> With that, I'll say peace.